Good evening, everyone. And welcome to the 11th Territover stream. Tonight, we will be playing some more Dead by Daylight. And I just gotta say, I've actually been playing this game a whole bunch in between streams. It's been a lot of fun. Oh, hey, Loser Corner. How you doing this evening? Good, good, you're having a good day, good. Um, yeah, like, I didn't play this game for the longest time, even though it's a pretty popular game on Twitch, simply because it's one of those multiplayer games, so I was kind of worried that I wasn't going to enjoy it. However, ever since loading it up and playing it that first stream, this is all I have played in between streams. Like, on stream, I'm playing the different horror games, which and and do mods which I thoroughly enjoyed as well but I am really into Dead by Daylight right now like it's obscene how much I've been playing it I think in the grand scheme of things I can still easily be called a noob uh, I've had some pretty good matches but I still think it's pretty appropriate to call me a noob um, but I've been having a lot of fun and they just released new content patch and everything so I think we might as well hop into it. So, Loser Corner, if you're listening, you get first pick, survivor or killer. Ugh. Because I actually have all the... <laughs> all the daily rituals are done. I have all the daily stuff done. So, I, uh... I'm completely open as to what I play. I'm not trying to get any, uh... Daily's on. All that's already completed. <clears throat> uh, actually, what do I have selected on the archives? Brand new archives. Damage 12 generator. Okay, so I'm doing generators. Which means I'm going to play as a killer. Let's just click ready now. Fill up. I got lots of blood points. Because uh, last night, after their update, they done fucked something up. Oh man, that was fast. They done fucked something up bad. The, uh... <laughs> yeah, they uh, managed to break the game so that it couldn't be... Like, no one could log in. Obviously, much to everybody's irritation that no one could log in. What's this? Is that... No, that's not one for him. Um, and everyone was kind of... I do I like that. Wait. Equipment mm, is add on to case the effects of Russia Jaws and Surrey Jaws. Points awarded for trapping survivors increased by 100%. Hmm... Yeah, let's do this. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so they did an update last night and then completely freaking broke everything. Nobody could log in. So they gave out 200,000 blood points as a... Oops, sorry. So I've been trying to use the trapper a little bit. Uh, he's like the most basic of killers, uh, in the sense of he has no, like, special powers while he's chasing people. How do I like the game so far? Uh, so, uh, in between streams, this is all I've been playing. <laughs> playing nothing but this game. Uh, last night they actually, uh, during an update broke it so that nobody could log in. Uh... And I had about an hour that I was going to play this game. And I couldn't play. And I was dis so disappointed that even when I tried to play other games instead. To fill in that same time. I was... I couldn't enjoy the games because I was irritated because I wanted to play this. <laughs> like, I, I can't even tell you exactly what it is that his, I've loved about it so much. It's just been so much fun. Let's lay a trap. 
Oops. There we go. Now, I guess the question is, where do they spawn? Where can I get... <laughs> Killing people? Well, don't get me wrong. Playing the killer is pretty fun. But, it's not the only thing, though, because... <laughs> you are murder. Uh, because I have actually had no problem playing as the survivors either. There's just something about the way that this game plays. Probably because it's simple to learn and pick up. Like, I'm not good at the game yet, right? Where the fuck are... Oh, they're over here. Like, I'm not good at the game yet, but... Where are you bitches going? Oh shit, I missed. <clears throat> I'll let him get away, honestly. Playing the survivors has actually been a lot of fun as well. Because then you get that sort of like terror feeling of being chased, right? By a big burly killer guy. Was there literally only, like, one generator being messed with? Like, where is everyone? What are you all doing? My movement speed is... My movement speed is slightly faster than the survivors. Um, I have other ways of like damaging them or hurting them or like I can trap them in my bear traps they have ways of escaping like I have to hit them twice in order to injure them and get them into a state oh he blinded me okay so I'm gonna let him go because I don't want other people being able to... Shit. And that's what I was afraid of. It's fucking pallets, man. See, as a survivor, you actually have lots of ways to try and outrun me. My selection of what? Killers? I can choose the killer I want to be. <laughs> Fuck off, bro. You're not saving your friend. He's going on this hook. Actually, did I knock him down? Oh, there you are. I did knock him down. I didn't even realize. Guess they saved the guy off the hook. This team's pretty good, I gotta say. They're working together really well. Fuck, she's twisty turvy. Just trying to get around me. Where'd you go? Oh, there's a couple of them over here. Who let you down? He did, huh? Come here, old man. Ah, I thought I had him. Might as well destroy the pallet. It's in my fucking way, so. So they still have a generator they need to activate. Yeah, I know. 
Butler maps, and so I've got some. I still got some learning to do. Um. Oh, hello. The thing is, I don't like chasing anybody for too long, because if I'm chasing her, other people are doing generators. Ah uh ha! -huh. You didn't expect me to do that, did you? Probably isn't a lot of killers I know to cut corners like that. Oh. Caught somebody in my trap. Oh, you got there just in the nick of time. Uh. You set a few of these traps just to. <clears throat> I guess it was you that fucked up, was it? Somebody fucked up trying to. Who's trying to blind me? Is it you? Come here! I'm coming for you! I don't want to go too far, because I feel like someone's going to go for that generator. Oh, they're going for that generator. Well, no generator for you. I'm gonna lay a trap here. If this is the one they're gonna be fucking with, I'm putting it there. Tisk tisk. Trying to jump to get away from me. He got away. Oh, are you stuck in the trap? Oh, shame. Poor shame. I didn't mean to pick up that trap. Oh well, I'll hook him first. He's trying to stun me, which I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate you trying to stun me, man. Somebody got stuck in the trap. Got to the fucking window. Gotcha. <laughs> nope, nope. Coming with me. Don't worry. We're just going to hang out for a little bit. We're just going to hang out. Don't worry about it. Look, how many times do I to break this fucking thing? Oh. They opened up the exits. Where are you going? Fucking... <laughs> I can protect this thing all day, guys. You know what? Put that there. 
No one's probably gonna fall for it, but... Might as well put it there. Just in case somebody does happen to fall for it. Let's reset this too. Who opened it? Was it this one? Actually, I'm gonna go after that guy because I think if I hit him one more, get him up on him hook one more time, he's dead, dead. And if I can kill somebody, I'd like to get at least one person down. Ah, shit, this was the exit. I went to the wrong exit. Ah, they all escaped. They did a good job, I gotta say. They were pretty coordinated. Yeah, so, I'm still trying to get a hang of this kill. Because I have to stop to set traps, and I feel like I'm not doing that correctly. I got a higher score than that guy, though. What the hell was this person doing? I love how that guy was just GG, easy, easy. Like, I'm trying to be nice here and say good job, guys, and he's over here like, easy, you fucking suck, bruh. <laughs> People are awesome. Let's get some more stuff. I got lots of blood blood points, so. Jesus. I'm not used to the queues being this fast. I'm queuing up before I, uh, I'm actually ready, but I'm not used to it being this fast. Might as well just gather all the stuff, get into level 10. Woohoo! Alright, which one? I need to use just Trapper perks for an achievement. I don't know which one is his other one. Oh, that's that one. Grace fans are shed through praise offenses. Okay, cool. Um, what about this? Okay. Grace down to rescue a survivor attempt to escape a bear trap. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's fuck him up. Oh, someone's playing the new DLC character. I have no idea what it's like to try and defeat them. No idea what their power is. I actually don't know a lot of the powers of the survivors anyway, because I don't... I haven't purchased any DLC yet, because as much as I love this game at the moment, I don't know if I'm going to go that hard into it. That I'm going to want to spend all this extra money on it. So I actually don't know how to play a bunch of the survivors or the uh, premium killers. So I'm a um, little, a little iffy on how to play some of these guys. Like I see a lot of people playing the guy from uh, Left for Dead. So I don't know if he's like overpowered or something because a lot of people play him. But I haven't seen anything super fancy about them. But that DLC character is brand new, so I don't even think I've read what her perks are. The, a lot of the other ones I read their perks, but of course there's so many of them that I've forgotten who goes to which what, with which one. Um, but I don't, I I don't even think I've read hers because I wasn't gonna buy a DLC for a character that I don't recognize a character, so I don't know if it's one that exists in some other IP somewhere. Because they were picking up characters from other IPs. So I don't know if that's an original character or what.
All right, so they put some bear traps right next to some generators for me. That's appreciated. Ah, oh, I saw you. Oh, you're using the zigzag technique. Only works for so long, though. But I need to destroy generators, so you're lucky. Ooh, thunder. Let's check some of these other ones. No. No one hanging out at these. Let's set a trap right here. Protect this one. No one touching this one yet. They're at this one. She's going for the pallet. Oh, where are you going? I don't know what his strategy was there. I have no idea what his strat was just then. I don't know if he was trying to zigzag around me. Might as well destroy this while I'm here so it doesn't become a problem later. Hey! Stop trying to fix that one. I'll do Ring Around the Rosie all day if you want me to. Especially if you're going to be that slow at it. Not leaving a blood trail. I wonder if she's got some sort of perk turned on. You tried. It was a good effort. I gotta get these missus up here before she drops. They got one generator on me. Oh shit, they got the second one already. Why'd you jump down? Oh, smooth. Move me. Get him tra trapped in my own thing. Now, they are hanging out over here, though. I can see them. Come here, Claudette. I know you're a healer. I could have swore I got that hit off. Bullshit. But I gotta check the other generators. I was seriously just trying to check generators. Maybe she was thinking I was not gonna check one that was already done. Oh, someone disconnected. That sucks. I hate when people disconnect from a game, even if, you know, I'm the killer. Because that sucks for everybody.
That's okay. I really wanted the generator anyway. Because if I can keep the pressure on them and they don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Oh, I already put one there. Never mind. Jesus, I'm losing track of where I put everything. But yeah, if I can put the keep putting the pressure on and going from generator to generator. And not give them any leeway. They're not going to be able to get out, right? So I don't want to chase anybody for too... See, that's another thing. I don't want to chase them for too long because then they can start getting away from me. You just ran right the fuck into me. Still a little bit too early. Ah! Ha ha! <laughs> God, you people just, like, do killers really just chase people directly all the time, but they never see that coming? Now, where flashlight bitch going? I see you. So, they're definitely going to make their way over towards the hooked misses. I mean, I would assume. Let's see if I can get this one, leave that one behind for now. Nah, she's going away. Oh, she really tried to get away. Sorry. I do feel kind of guilty, though, that they had someone disconnect on them. Because that undoubtedly complicates things. You're not getting to your friend. Not without a fight, you're not. Did I see someone moving over there? Yes, I did. That flashlight is kind of an okay thing. But it's not great. Because it's an easy thing for me to get around. I simply just had to look away. I'm gonna go after the injured one. Who went this way somewhere? Ooh, did someone... Someone got stuck in my trap. Uh, 
let's reset this. Grab Claudette here. Oh, she's dead. Okay. I heard you crying out. So, if I can get her up now... There's just one person left out there. Now, where's your friend? Come on, friend. Where have you gone? Don't you want to come back and get the little witch girl that I have up on the hook right now? Oh, he snuck around me. Well then, so I know they're both over here then. Somewhere. Now I can follow this. Now she's probably going to sprint off. Oh no, she used the pallet. I figured she was going to try and sprint off. Let her go, because I'm going to go after whoever's trying to get that last generator going. No generator for you. <laughs> I'll just reset that. Now, summon over at this last one. All right, where are you? Oh, you're both over here, huh? How is it I always end up going in the wrong direction that they keep getting around me? If I recognize who that survivor is, that's a sprinter. So she's faster than me for at least a little bit. Should have known that wasn't going to connect. Oh, that one I thought I had. Where do you think you're going? Oh, come on. That one definitely hit. I'll let her go for now. I knew I was chasing her too much. Fuck, I can't believe- ah! And 
I'd say her friend is over at the other one, so let's go take a look. She's not going to go anywhere for a few seconds, so... Yep, I was right. Oh, you're, this game's done. Unless the other one manages to crawl somewhere that I can't find her. Or in the very unlikely but possible scenario, they managed to get the low success roll off that hook. Oh no, she's dead. <laughs> Now. She's around here somewhere. I'm not hearing her whine, though. Christ, how far did she crawl? Now I'm trying to remember exactly where it was I killed that I knocked her down. How far did she fucking crawl? I should be hearing her, like, whine. Because even if she's hiding in the tall grass, I feel like I should be able to hear her. But I mean, I've closed the hatch, so the game's gonna end in, like, when that meter goes down anyway. But, like, seriously, where'd she go? I legit cannot find her. The worst part is she'd be half a fucking planet away by now. Even if she is moving really slow. But again, I feel like I should be seeing a blood trail or hearing her. I mean, I think she's going to bleed out, but... Now that I've <laughs> admitted that I couldn't find her. <laughs> I was crawling all over the map. So what did I get here? Chaser, yep. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it means I didn't hook enough people, but that's probably caused by the fact somebody DC'd. Gatekeeper, yeah. Yeah, I didn't keep enough pressure on. It. 
All right. Four more generators, huh? Let's do another one. Man, he's got a lot of shit here. Oh, right. They disabled some of the offerings because they're not working properly. Loadout. Trapper, trapper, trapper. All right. Full coil spring kit. Yeah, let's make it silent. Oh, yes, blood points. More blood points. What do we got? We got a Michaela, another person playing the new character. Man, there's a lot of people that are willing to spend money on brand new DLC characters. If they're dedicated to the game, I have absolutely no problem with that. My whole thing is I've stayed dedicated to... The only game I've ever really stayed dedicated to was World of Warcraft, and I did spend some extra money on some of the collectibles on that and now i don't play wow anymore but it seemed like such a weird thing at the time because i was always playing wow for 15 years i played it but that certainly makes me weary to spend any extra money on frivolities in in the video game because eventually day dead by daylight will die out as all games will eventually and then I'll have a bunch of money on cosmetics that I can no longer show off or anything. And I am really enjoying the game now, but it's possible that I could get repetitive, so I may not be too keen on it in the future. Do, 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 do. Rancid Abattoir. Right in the grass. Perfect. Oh, someone's nearby. I heard that generator going. You ran right by me. I guess you weren't expecting me to hang out like that. But I was set in a trap. Oh god, tell me you just landed in the trap, I said. Oh, she got out. God, that first generator goes so fucking fast. Now I know where my second direction is. Go ahead, you can run. I'm here for the generators more than anything anyway. She's not expecting me to hang out, she ran right in, did she? She got that off faster than I expected. Can't chase her for too long, though. I got it. Oh, I hit a totem. What the? F <clears throat> That's okay. I'm checking generators anyway. You can run.
man, oh man, they're getting fucking around. Where did you come from? Don't get me wrong, not complaining. Thanks for showing up. That's one of the ones that's just turned on. Where are you going? Somebody hiding? Yes, they were. Maybe I really gotta stop chasing people right now because they are getting these fucking generators on me. Everyone's in a fucking injured state, but I have. Keep an eye on the generator back here, though. Jesus, fuck. They made a mockery out of me this time. I mean, it's unsurprising that they saved her. <laughs> what was that noise, though? Open that door up. Can I get him? Can I get him? No. Y'all left your friend behind. I'll take one of your friends. I don't care. At least I can say that I killed one person. I'll just wait, see if she goes for her. I doubt she will, but... <laughs> oh, you left your friend to die. You people suck.
Sure, I'll set a trap right here. Didn't do so hot that round. Ooh, got my challenge done, though. Yeah, I didn't do so hot that round. The trapper's a little too basic, maybe. Because I even found with the hillbilly I was doing better. But, we're about halfway through the stream. I think it's time to change it up a little bit. Maybe play some Survivor. Let's uh, select a new challenge in the archives. Uh, let's see. A pair of four generators, I'll do that. So let's queue up this. Ooh, a new ritual. Repair the equivalent of three full generators. Man, when does that reset? Uh, who do I want to play as? Let's... Yeah, actually, let's do him. Grab some shit. Do, 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 do. I have so many blood points, I don't even need to care. Just buy everything. Give him the level 10, get another perk. Okay, so it does appear that the Q for... It does appear that the Q for survivors is a little bit slower. What's my other leader. Okay. See, there's an achievement to just have their three uh, perks. And nothing else. Okay, I have a bronze four. I have no idea how much how many more levels I need. Huh. Let me see here. Well, this is unfortunate. But the queue is so long. I'm assuming it's so long because of the new DLC character that came out, so there's probably more people trying to play Survivor than not play Survivor. Can't customize this guy at all. Wow. I don't even know how I got this stuff. What's that cap somehow? So much generic tow truck logo. A Dwight stash. Yeah, let's get that Dweeter on the go. <laughs> First job t-shirt. Manager's vest. Oh, there we go. Got a couple of David Kings. Oh, add on I can put here. Man, they got a whole bunch of stuff I could be grabbing. See, unfortunately, perks are what you're definitely... is the optimal thing to go for. Yo, killer, what are you doing? What are you two doing? I almost feel like it should be like Overwatch. Like, you can't have two of the same hero. 
See, I've actually seen this uh, dweed set up before, but not with the original, the original clothes on. <laughs> so now it looks really weird. What do we got? Ooh, comp change is slightly increased distance for extra smokes appearing. I feel like I don't get enough time to read those. Am I just supposed to memorize what those symbols are? Jesus Christ. What kind of memory do they think I have? Come on, guys. Get faster computer boxes. Gotta say, as a streamer, the loading screens and the waiting in queue, that's the killer. I gotta try and fill dead goddamn air waiting for a queue to pop. Bull. <laughs> Should try watching some other Dead by Daylight streams. See what they do to fill the dead air. Because as a killer, I was just getting in immediately. But uh, I just got stuck in queue for a couple of minutes trying to play a survivor. It's actually kind of interesting because with a game like this, you almost figured there'd be so many more people playing the killer. But playing survivor is pretty fun too. So I'm actually kind of impressed that they balance the game enough that people will want to play both. <laughs> It's kind of like, you know, with other games in, uh, like, you know, Knights of the Old Republic or the Old Republic Online, right? Oh, we're just, like, all here. Or, yeah, like the Old Republic Online. Everybody wants to be a Jedi. Why would you not want to be a Jedi? Right? But... And I know that people wanted to play Jedi a lot, so I don't know how many people were not doing that. But it's the obvious thing. It's Jedi. Jedis are cool. Yeah, dude, he's trying to get the other dude some opportunity. He's <laughs> just kind of hanging out here. Oh, it's Ghostface. I just saw Ghostface. Okay, so in this round, we're looking at a Ghostface killer, are we? I actually haven't seen a lot of people play as Ghostface, so I'm actually not sure what I am to look out for. I'm only here to repair. Oh, killer coming. I was like, man, is the killer coming for me? Just usually they leave the person there. I'll go save her. You guys go on. Take a roundabout way, though, so I'm less likely to run into... Okay, he's over there, so I should be good to go. Get her. Ooh, that, that check was really fucking close. Can you stop crying for a minute? Don't worry, I'll come heal you if he actually manages to pick you up.
what does that red thing around him mean? Around Rock Eagle's portrait. I don't know what that red bar means. Are you bringing the killer this way? What are you running around like a madman for? These people are really good at repairing generators, because I guarantee you, if I was in this situation, I'd have no fucking idea how to repair anything. Ah, I keep missing the skill check. I'm not missing the skill check as a whole, but I'm definitely missing the... Ooh, that one was a little too close. Sabotaging hooks. Good, good, good. Come on, help me out. Let's get this guy up. Perfect. Oh, I forgot she was injured too. Like, can you guys stop getting hit by the killer, Jesus Christ? I didn't see where he went down. That's gonna be a problem. Okay, over there. The fact that I can see where the other survivors are with this guy is pretty key. He's right next to another... He's right next to a generator, though, which is... Him being right next to a generator is going to be a problem. Come on, get up. Ah, oh, I should have got that one. Because like, I can't work on the generator if the killer knows to come this way. Come on, guys, we're doing so good. Get away from him. I need to get that generator. You suck. How do you all suck so much? Let's come back this way? Or is he camping the hook? He's, he has an unattended, I believe, Ghostface, because again, I don't know very much. I believe he has an undetectable ability. So that there's a brief period of time where I won't know that he's there. I want to fucking get these generators up, but he keeps hooking them right next to the generator. So if I try to rescue him, that causes a bit of a problem. Ah! Oh shit! Why was he able to do that? Christ, you knocked me down immediately! I tried. 
I figured I'd give it one try, but the, the other two are not. I don't know, he's making his. They're making their way. Oh, shit. God, this is going so well! Damn it, I'm injured too, so he's gonna be able to hear me. I mean, I'll give this a whirl, but I can't see him not being able to find me if she dies. I'm sure he's gonna know exactly where I am, because if she dies, he's just gonna start. Or at least, if he's smart, what he'll do is he'll go... F God, can I get to her feasibly? Christ, man. Well, that's good. Ah, we started off so good, too. How'd you guys keep getting caught by him? I guess he does have the undetectable ability. Maybe he was really sneaking up on me. I mean, I think I did pretty good. I think my points are gonna be pretty nice. Yeah, I only got the three. That went well, I mean, it was going well. <laughs> but then the other teammates kept getting fucking hit by him, so... I mean, I needed their help. I was actually doing pretty good, not getting hit by anything. And I actually had another hook, so... I could have been hooked a third time. But... Nope. See, I got the highest score out of the survivors. This killer was just wrecking shit. Yeah, so I guess that's it. He, he's undetectable. But no, I think that did go very well. What are you talking about? The mobile version of Twitch is about five seconds behind the desktop version. Maybe do a refresh? I'm sorry, new tier. I have a reward. No, I do not have a reward because this is the premium. I don't know if I want to do that or not yet. Although, technically, the chat's live. Okay, that's kind of funky. At least if I do get the premium, I technically also get money back <laughs> slowly as I do it, so that's actually interesting. Because I think it's $11 to unlock it, and that's about a dollar. See, it's interesting that they're giving you, well, you don't get money back, but you get the equivalent of spending more money on the game. One more level, though. Oh god, the loot store? 
Man, like... You can't avoid it, not in this day and age. There's gonna be a loot store. Oh, I still have to buy it even though it's not usable right now. Interesting. Okay, the uh, entity didn't wake up for shit just then. That's all the daily rituals, right? Yes, okay. I mean... I have such a love-hate relationship with the idea of a loot store. Because... Very few companies have the desire to continuously work on a game without getting more returns on the investment somehow. Guy does Stardew Valley does that. He's crazy. I don't know. He's he's amazing and the small team that he's now built, they keep making more and more content even though they don't charge anybody for it. I mean like so many people already own Stardew Valley. I doubt he's making more purchase or making more sales with it by adding this content like somebody was like I was gonna play your farming simulator six years ago but now that you've added more fishing content I'm down right um making more versions of the game like making a switch version and a mobile version and all that that can give them extra money but all the DLCs and stuff or DLC updates really but look like something like GoldenEye all the skins bonuses etc and but we were talking at a time when they set everything out and then that was it, right? I... If Dead by Daylight never had any, any content added, right, then I would be really irritated that they would add a loot store. And don't get me wrong, I'm still irritated about a loot store because I had to pay money to, to buy this game. Well, I didn't. My wife bought it for me, you know, for my birthday or whatever. I would obviously prefer Goldeneye, because I actually get a little irritated that they keep trying to make these single, like single player games, something like this. Single player games with DLC shit like that bothers the fuck out of me. I was about to say, where's everybody else? I think this guy a new shirt. Fuck it, we're gonna make ourselves really easy to catch. Kill me over here. Dude, I am rocking this look right now. But no, I would obviously much prefer more games like GoldenEye. Single player games having fucking skins and shit drives me up the wall. And multiplayer games, I don't care. They, that makes more sense to have skins, but again, I would prefer if the game was free. If they were going to do that, Dead by Daylight's not free. So the fact that it's not free and I have to pay money to get these skins and outfits is annoying. But at the same time, I also understand that they would not be adding any content to the game for as long as they did if they weren't getting money back. So such a love-hate relationship. If they're putting out good... Because that was my big thing with StarCraft 2 was they weren't putting out any new content. They have guys doing balancing. But they would be like... You know, here's another announcer for $5. Great, where does that $5 go? Our pocket. Are you going to use that on a game? On, on putting more content in the game? No. So you're not going to do more single player campaigns or anything? No. We're just going to take the $5 from the announcer. So, yes, they probably had to spend a bit of time, you know, getting the recordings of the announcer. Doing some sound editing and whatever. You can convince me if, like, a thousand people bought it, they cost them $5,000 or $10,000 or anything like that to, to get that announcer done. There's no fucking way. 
And so then it wouldn't even bother me if they were like, we'll take this money and then we can add more single player content or something. No, they did none of that shit. That really bothers me. At least you could argue with this, they're taking your money and then still making new characters, new survivors, new killers, more contact, more maps. You know, they're putting, they're adding things. And you wouldn't give much, as much a shit if you could earn the announcer somehow. Well, we all know how that would work too. They would make it so that you could get the announcer, but he'd be locked behind like 10,000 hours of gameplay. Oh, the two Dwights are together. Come on, Dwight. We need to find a uh, generator. Here's one. I'm sorry? Did I just hear the killer already? Yes, I did. The killer is dressed as the dude from Saw. He honestly looked like another player for a second. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, see, he's like right fucking behind me now. Guys, you better be doing fucking generators. Thank you. They said, if I'm having this son of a bitch chase me all over the map, you better be doing fucking generators. I love how the game's like, oh, you escaped. And I'm like, I did, I did not. I did no such thing. That guy is definitely still chasing me. Ah, ah shit, he got me. Am I pro now? No, I'm definitely new. But one of the things I quickly realized as a killer is if you chase one dude around the map constantly, Everybody else is just doing generators. Right? And they're going to get all the generators done while you're chasing the one guy around. And that's exactly what you can see the ore is. Like that guy over there doing a generator. That guy down there doing a generator. So while he was busy chasing me around the fucking map, everyone else is doing the stuff that needs to be done to get us out of here. See? Generator done. And he's camping me now. You can see him over there. Another generator done. So, like, he's not doing anything. Now. He's just standing there. Doing fuck all while everyone else does the game around him. Camping does lose points. But now he's probably paranoid that he's not going to get anything done here, so... Someone came and got me, yay! Except he's chasing me again now. God, I'm gonna get no points for helping with the generator, too. That's irritating, because all I've been doing this whole time is running around. Quick! Let me help! I need to feel useful! But yeah, camping loses points, but where everyone else was, you know, starting to generators and everything, I think he was looking for any way to try to nab somebody. So he started camping near me. Because I think at the end of the day, camping loses points, but you still get more points by, you know, killing somebody than the points that you lose for camping. Are you trying to kill me? Uh, 
Come on, come on, run! <laughs> well, I mean, it is. Oh shit, I shouldn't have gone down there. It is a poor system, and. Well, see, I don't. I, I'm saying that, but I've never actually done the math to try and figure it out. This is hot. Well, you just saw that guy. He didn't see me, so he just ran upstairs. Now, he would usually be able to hear me because I'm injured, so I'd be, like, moaning and shit. But he couldn't hear me because I'm muffled and the generator's right next to me. No, he didn't check. Checking takes time. If you lose, or if you try to check to see if somebody's in the locker, and they end up not being in the locker, you actually waste several seconds. Open the door, open the door. to get out of here. But he also knew that like I only he only saw me come down there. He had no idea where I went either. I did crush hiding in that grass. Well, somebody escaped. So they must have the other door open. So where's everybody else hanging out? I'm just bleeding like a sun bitch here, too. But yeah, see, because what you can do is when someone's injured and they're walking around, you can kind of see, like, their blood trail on the ground, but it fades over time. Come on, where's Lori? Oh, thanks for the heal. <laughs> Seriously, where is she? Come on. The other person's escaped. Let's go. No, no, here he comes. <laughs> I got two ach achievements. Woo! I didn't even get that. Did I get the last generator? Yes, I did. I was about to say, I didn't get a lot of points, though, because I was fucking on the hook the whole goddamn time. But I got two achievements, so... And one of them... One of them's a fucking hilarious achievement. It's, uh... Let me see here. Where did it go? In a public match, spend most of the trial injured and live to tell the story. <laughs> that killer didn't do very well. Everybody escaped. Everyone escaped. I think he only hooked me. He only got one person hooked. So he didn't he didn't do very well at all. <laughs> And then I got an achievement for doing Dwight there with only his three primary perks and didn't use any of the additional perks that I can use. So those are my two achievements. One was getting injured and not getting healed <laughs> the whole fucking time. All right. Claim this. Heal a total of five health states of any survivor. 
Uh, well, I know just what to do for that. Time to bring out my main lady, Claudette, the healer. Alright, what, what are you grabbing up here? You can have that toolbox, it's fine. Very rare map add on. When's it wrapped up in astonishing complex apparatus? Oh. Uh, what's this? Flashlight. Ooh. Very rare key add on. Engraved lightning ring that emerged from the fog and resonates with an indescribable, incomprehensible energy. Reveals the obsession orders at all times without the need to channel the key's energy. You know your weakness and refuse to hide from me. See, oh, actually, I work on her loadout because I have her achievement, so I don't have to worry about putting a fourth thing on here. Okay, this is not happening. Spine chill. Was wearing ability paranoia pair before of failure drives you to avoid repeating the same mistakes. The words of three generators, which are close proximity, were real four or five seconds to match, and each time generator is completed. Cool, let's do a chest thing. Let's just deck her out with healing stuff. Moderately thickens, moderately increases luck of all survivors. Spine in the hatch in the killer shack. Reels where the basement pumps for 20 seconds. Yeah, let's get some stuff. So, I've actually been doing pretty good as a killer, but I've had a couple of bad matches too, and I usually get suckered into doing a bad match the way that that killer just did. Where. I chased the one guy for so long. So now, like, if I chase somebody and I can't get them within a few seconds, I just leave. And I go check the other generators again. Because you do lose a couple of points for losing chases. But if I can constantly go into generators and knocking them out, or and if I'm lucky getting, getting out the other survivors, I actually get a lot of points for keeping the pressure on. Oh, this is cool. Right? Because that's the other thing, too, is I can keep the pressure on by going from generator to generator, even if I'm not winning chases. Quitter? I mean, I mean, yes, in a sense, it's quitting. But it is a... It's a more valid strat, I feel. Every time that I've chased somebody for too long, I lose generators. And then I end up getting, like, a really shit game out of it. Um. Ooh, hidden. So I, so I've actually found that the moment that I stopped constantly chasing people for longer than a few seconds, I, I actually managed to get more people in the long run because everyone keeps trying to go to generators to fix them, but I keep showing up at the generators, right? And I'm not even camping because I'm going from one to one to one to one, but I'm doing the cycle so fast and often catching them off guard that I end up hooking them that I end up getting them and hooking them that way. Although I did have one recently where there were two players left and knocked one down. Instead of hooking them, I went to go get the other one because I knew that would leave that one out of commission. But then she, and I say she because the character was she, actually crawled so far away I could not find her until she bled out which is the first time that's ever happened to me she actually managed to bleed out elsewhere because I could not figure out like took off she does took off I couldn't hear her because usually when they're down on the ground like 
and they're just dragging themselves along. They're moaning and like crying. Couldn't hear. Uh, this is one of those indoor maps. Uh, I don't like these ones that much. It's so hard to fucking find everything. Jesus, already. Why are there crows inside the plant? This is very unsanitary. Like, these maps are, like, huge and multi-leveled. So I can never fucking find the generators. Because in other maps with generators, you can, like, look up in the air and see, like, lights in the sky. But with these, you just... You can't look up in the sky, so... I love it when I hit that great skill check. Ooh. But it's nerve-wracking every single time. Some leave. Fucking came for me though. I don't know that killer. I legit do not know that killer. I shouldn't have done that. I thought he was farther away than he was. Get that generator. Get that generator. I've never managed to do that. Is he camping? Fucking camping up there. If I die because he just refuses to leave, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, fuck! Like, Jesus Christ. This shit irritates me, because that's why they take points away for camping. Because it's really, really unfun for people when you can. See, look, now here he comes again. Dude, you fucking let him this way. I don't fucking care now, just kill me. Ugh, <laughs> oh, 
so frustrating. Dirty fucking camper. Here he comes. <laughs> like, dude. I'll hold him off. seen that before. That game was horse shit. Oh, he carried me like a son bitch. That just takes the fucking fun out of it, man. Not to mention I actually just lost a progress point because of that. Because I didn't do anything that whole match. Oh, I hate people. But you know what? It's a rare... Like, I, I'm not gonna let that get to me too much because that's actually the first time that's happened. Usually, people don't camp. So I'm not that irritated, honestly. Just one little dickhead's not gonna bother me. However, I need to get some heals on. I don't think I have anything here that's gonna really help with that, but... See, I don't know what a luck thing does. I don't know if that makes the... Makes it that I have to do less skill checks, or what? Sure, let's use that. Is there any medkit stuff here? Well, oh, but it's actually kind of cool. Give me toolboxes. Cause I need to create two more chests. My skill jump ring allows the pearl to be uh, attached to the key, increases the range of keys or reinability. Wait, the killer's aura is revealed to you for five seconds. Hmm, that's actually kind of interesting. I got until the 13th of November to get this up to whatever the hell the top one is. <laughs> no idea how possible that is. Oh, damn it, he got me. Gotta get the perks. I feel like I want all the perks. It's just gonna leave it there. I'll grab it. Oh shit, I didn't top it. Hello? <laughs> what are you up to, sir? <laughs> just, uh, just hanging out? Were you working on something?
That's okay. The last game was fairly uneventful. I got camped the whole time. Yeah, should I just fucking just go... Let's just get all colored up here. People are gonna camp me anyway, I might as well, right? That's basically the same, except slightly bluer. Yeah, let's go pink. Come on, Mr. Killer. Come find me in my pink outfit. We got the all-girl squad here. <laughs> it is hot. It's a hot pink. Basically, nobody else is wearing stuff to blend them in, so you know what? <laughs> I'm going to not blend in with them. Ugh. I think this is my last one for the night, though. Which means retro spoops on Friday. I gotta say, going back and playing Realms of the Haunting again has been a lot of fun, but man, do I really appreciate how bad Adam's acting is. I don't even know if it's the acting that's bad. They really don't write that character very well, do they? Still better, still better acting than uh, Day Sex, though, so. Can't fault it too hard. Guys, my bar is full and my computer is like six years old. What are you all doing? Come on. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Come on. Oh, God. Is somebody on the McDonald's Wi-Fi? Holy crap, like what's taking so long? People. Was he like in fucking Europe? Like, <laughs> Is the ping that bad? Feeling a skill check sets back in action's progress and notifies the killer of the survivor's location. No, I've actually never seen as the killer somebody fail a skill check on, like, healing somebody, so I don't know if it, like, creates that aura that I see whenever somebody fails a generator. Or does it just make a uh, loud noise? I've never actually escaped through a hatch yet. And that only, ha like, you see down here, it says if you're the last survivor alive, the hatch may be available as an alternate escape. And look for the hatch icon beside the number of generators that need to be completed. If the icon is present, then the hatch is open. Like, that person's going to end up getting disconnected here in a second if they're really taking that long to get in. You're working on Destroya? Wow, that's a complicated model. What are you even using as a base for that? Because to destroy his body is huge, and he he's a thick boy. So what are you using to just random shit? You just Frankensteining a model together? Okay, now I'm starting to wonder if it's me. Is it really this bad? Because my bar filled up. Like, what's going on here? OK, 
Okay, what are you using for his legs? He's got he got thick thighs, right? How do you how do you get them thighs done? Okay, I've read all these tips now to the point that I could probably freaking program the game at this point. Like, Jesus. Yeah, generators can often be located by searching for flashing lights above them. Not when they're inside. You're still trying to make him tall? Well, he's got to be taller than your Godzilla models, unfortunately. That's that's the only stipulation because he is he is a tall boy. And then you have to make all his other forms for one of your stop motions. Yeah, Jay, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. Like, what is taking so long? They had problems yesterday, too. So I don't know if this is just another fuck-up going on. Because, I mean, I feel like if this is if it's loading for this long, somebody would have got kicked already. Or the game would have been disbanded, something. That loot store going a long way. <laughs> really, though. Well, I think part of the problem was yesterday. It was, because it was a PC-only problem. It was the way that it, whatever they did, screwed up, Steam screwed up its connection with it. Or it screwed up its connection to Steam. One or the other. Probably more than likely their fault. Um, and then, so if you tried to play the game through Steam, uh, it wasn't able to connect you to anything, so it would just kick it, it kicked everybody out. And they were like, oh shit. <laughs> Nobody can play our game. Damn it. Because, I mean, like, this hasn't happened to me before either, and I've played a bunch of games in between streams. I'm hitting all sorts of buttons. And it's not doing anything. Oh dear. Is that APM? I'm playing StarCraft, boys! Like, I can't even move both my hands at the speed that the Korean players move one hand. They're... <laughs> they just go fucking crazy. <laughs> well, it's about that time anyway, and I think I'm just gonna fucking get out of here so uh because this is going on and then i had to pop back in queue and do a game and it won't be over for like a while so i think i'm just gonna call it there for the night <laughs> and i will be back um what's today wednesday i'll be back friday to play some Realms of the Haunting. So be sure to pop back in and watch me do some retro spooks. Um, maybe I'll try more of this on Saturday. We'll see. Uh, but with that, you guys have a fantastic evening. I love you all. Thank you for popping in and saying hello. I really appreciate it. But you have a fantastic evening. And I will see you Friday. Bye-bye. God, what a way to end the stream. Showing off shoddy programming. Beautiful.